Hi friends! Is iTunes repeatedly prompting you to play iTunes Store purchases on your authorized computer? Here's how you can resolve the issue on your Mac. Click on the Go menu, and then click on Applications. On the Applications window, double-click on iTunes icon to open it. To make sure that you have the latest version of iTunes installed, click on the iTunes menu, and then click on Check for Updates. If you have the latest version installed, click on OK to confirm, or else click on Download iTunes. Now you need to authorize your purchases from an administrator account. To do so, choose Store Menu, and then click on Authorize this computer. Enter your Apple ID password, and then click on Authorize. Wait for the authorization process to complete, and then click on OK. Now quit iTunes and open it again. Go to iTunes Store, and then click on Purchased to search for the purchased items in your library. Select the purchased item and click on Play. The item should begin to play. If the issue still persists, then you need to authorize using the correct account name. Select a purchased song in your library. Click on the File menu and then click on Get Info. Click on the File tab. Note the account name that appears in the displayed list. This is the account name that you should use while authorizing your computer to play this purchase. If you've authorized the Apple ID that is shown in the Summary tab, you can check the purchase history for that Apple ID by clicking on the Store menu and then clicking on View My Account. Enter your Apple ID password and then click on View Account. On the Account Information page, scroll down and then click on See All next to Purchase History. If your purchase history does reflect the purchase of the items in your iTunes library, then click on Done. If you are still facing the same issue, then you need to remove the SC Info folder. To do so, quit iTunes and close all the open windows. Click on the Go menu and then click on Go to Folder. Type forward slash users forward slash shared forward slash sc space info and then click on go. If Finder is not already set to column view, set it to view as columns. Select the sc info folder and move it to the trash by choosing the file menu and then clicking on move to trash option. Close the window. Restart the computer. When the computer restarts, click on the Go menu and then click on Applications. On the Applications window, double-click on iTunes icon to open it. Now to authorize your computer to play your purchases, click on the Store menu and then click on Authorize this computer. Enter your Apple ID password to confirm and then click on Authorize. Once done, click on OK. Now try to play the song. Hope this was easy to follow. Thanks for watching. To check out more related tech videos, click here. If you have any query or want to share something with us, click here. To get Ayogi tech support, dial toll-free numbers. To stay empowered technically, subscribe to our channel.